Let's dive into the juicy part of today's show. Now, look at this. You know, this is Banta Bobo. Now, we are looking at this pair USDT. Now, let's go and look at this pair Bitcoin. Let's see what is going on here if, say, we pair this with Bitcoin. So, let's change this to BTC. Okay, changing it to BTC. Wow, look at this. Ethereum is actually up. 1.2%. So if say you are you would have been in Ethereum, then you should be up 1.2% against BTC. So what you see, the, the coins that are in green here are the coins that are outperforming BTC at this point in time. So as BTC is dropping, these coins are not really doing well. And this is um this is um among the top um hundred coins. And if we go to the top 200 coins, let's see the top 200 coins. Which ones are outperforming Bitcoin? You know, you can see here. Yeah, let's go to it. This is the, on the weekly time frame. Let's go to the daily time frame to see uh, which coin is outperforming Bitcoin for the daily time frame on the top 200 coins. You can see here, yeah, Jito. So you can already look at coins that have strength and you focus on those coins to see if say, you can get some something out of it, you know, because it seems as if these coins are not really, um, you know, dropping down in value as compared to other coins. You can see CROV is down only 4%, and other coins are down dramatically. And you can see, um, um, drastically, and you can see Boomer boom, boom is down just 5%, and other coins are really down, you know, crazy. You know, so this is something like you should be doing every day. Look at your at, um, banter bubble. You can do the same with crypto bubbles, you know, the same thing applies to crypto bubbles. I love crypto bubbles more when I want to do, you know, quick research. You can just go there 